I'm Vosk, you're on the Voskhorn YouTube channel. Let's review the Nerd Octax. The biggest, the baddest, open source Bitcoin mining rig. Comes with a plug, comes with a power supply, and of course it comes with a miner, and they even got stands, brother. You think that background's AI? I'm worried everything is about to be AI. Improved power stage. Mining stats with full color display. Eight BM 1370 ASIC chips, which at the time of recording this video is still the best Bitcoin mining chip that any open source mining hardware has. Period, the end. The dashboard that's open source software that'll give you any information you probably want. 200 watts is all this thing consumes. Less than your Xbox, okay? Hey, you wanna buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it. Nerd Octax power supply. 100 to 240 voltage, 50, 60 hertz, 240 watts, output 12 volts. 20 amps. The Nerd Oct axes run on 12 volts. They don't run on five volts like, for example, the Bidax Gamma or the Nerd Ax. The power connector type has also been changed from the barrel to this guy. The name of this is on the screen. Setting the Nerd Oct axe up is easy. Here's some footage from a previous video where we set up the Nerd Oct axe, but basically you plug it in, you connect to the Wi-Fi that it generates, then you connect to your local Wi-Fi network, right? You connect this device to your Wi-Fi. You feel me? You following? You tracking? And then you paste your mining pool information in, or hopefully you put in your private Bitcoin mining node and private Bitcoin mining pool, like we've shown before. Truly decentralized solo mining. And then you paste your Bitcoin address and well, happy hashing. Vitronics dubbed this the 3.1. And the big standout piece of that is the fact that it pushes the hash rate up to 12 terahash per second, or so they claim we'll be testing it today from 9.6. All the Chinese ripoff manufacturers rushed the Nerd Octax to market and they only produced it producing 9.6 terahash. That is a massive increase in hash rate for the same device. So I'll be honest, it's got me fired up. Vitronics isn't just another minor seller. They're a minor manufacturer. They make these Nerd Octaxes in-house. We featured their products before. And fun fact, they're based out of Barcelona, Spain. This thing will give you a shot at mining Bitcoin. And we'll see if it really does what it says it can do. But at 12 terahash per second, according to sololuck.com, the best Bitcoin solo mining calculator ever created. You have a one in 600,000 chance daily or a one in 1,667 chance per year to hit the next Bitcoin block. This is a solo miner. This is a lottery miner. This mines Bitcoin all day, every day, perpetuity, okay? Giving you a shot to earn over three Bitcoin, around $300,000 of BTC. Pool mining is honestly a waste of time when it comes to small Bitcoin miners like this one. And don't think it's impossible. Recently, a guy with just six Bitax Gammas, which is basically just half the power of a Nerd Octax, hit a Bitcoin block, turning a less than $1,000 purchase into, at that time, over $300,000 worth of Bitcoin. Don't say it can't be done because it's happening. These fans have a little bit of play in them with the way they're designed. So I don't think it's all messed up if they're not totally aligned. 3.1 double Q, Nerd Octax, Y-ish maybe? What, what, what does that mean? Double checking connections while we're here. I can slide in a little bit more, but probably would have been fine. These things have gotten so big and serious, they have their own gosh dang fuse attached to them. 20 amp fuse right there. Huge heat sinks here on the front and some serious heat sinkage on the back as well. 
could arrive from Bitronics, no problem. And huge shout out to them for making today's video review possible by them sending us this. We have a discount code to order these in the video description below. Um, and if you enjoy the content, please use our link uh, to support the channel. Unfortunately, I got hit with a huge tariff bill when I got this. I explained that to them, so I hope that they're gonna be revising their uh, shipping methods so that you don't get slapped with a several hundred dollar tariff bill because that'll quickly take the wind out from your sails because that sucked. That was a big bill on top of this hardware. And at over 600 euros, these are already not cheap. If it's possible. I prefer that these came on their stand. But with something like this, the hardest part is just getting started. Easy enough once I get the first two in there. Blue light? Nice. Good. That's what we want to see. Great success. So out of the box, what's interesting with the uh, 3.1 here from Betronix is the frequency is at 750. Above what it says is the default here at 700. And the core voltage is at 1210, which does align with the default. Then the fan setting is set to S19 simulator, which is basically just that the fans are on full bore here. So in the previous Neurodoc DAX we reviewed, it was pretty quiet. This one's not that loud but it does make more noise with these fans and them running at full speed. It's also drawing a bit more power. We can see at the wall, we're pulling 207 watts of electricity and we were steadily climbing, sir. It's weird, I've never seen that. Either I needed to put not only a primary pool, but also a failover pool for this to work, or it just needed to be restarted twice. But man, did it jump to a high hash rate fast. A lot of these things, take a while to ramp up. It's already nearly reporting the 12 terahash a second. Well, which 12 terahash per second is 12,000 gigahash per second. This is the Nerd Octax. At a glance, I'm really impressed with a lot of this and I'm very happy to see a big increase in uh, the mining hash rate on the Nerd Octax. However, right now with out of the box settings, it's not quite hitting 12. I know it's only 200 giga hash, 250 giga hash, but, but it is a little disappointing. I, I wanna see the one, two. I wanna see a hit, you know, one, two or 12 on the pool side there as well. In my initial testing, I set these up and I hook them up onto uh, CK Pools, public solo mining uh, pool. If you subscribe to the Boss Queen YouTube channel, you may also know I've embarked on a huge solo mining journey. So I'm running my own node, my own private Bitcoin mining pool there and connected that with a lot of Bitcoin miners as well. But I leave these mini miners on this public CK pool address. You can access it. I'll link it on the description below. You can check on these miners. You can look at this in three months and be like, hmm, how is that Nerd Octax doing? You know, the one from Bitronics. You can go there, you can look at the worker name, right? So this is 3P1 or 31 simply Nerd Octax. Uh, but that's in reverse. So Nerd Octax 3P1 or uh, Nerd Octax 31. And with those settings, you'll see the mind, you'll see the performance. I'm gonna leave it there, I'm gonna let it eat, and I hope it hits a Bitcoin block. But that also gives you the ability to kind of watch it and monitor it. Uh, because when I connect all that stuff to my own private node, there's no way to publicly access that. I create update videos, but I wanna give you, I wanna open source my, my Bitcoin mining performance, uh, if you will. This miner is interesting at this power consumption. 200 watts is, is a decent amount of power consumption. This is something that's gonna create a tangible amount of heat. Uh, depending on how big your environment is, right? So I get enough of these running in the garage and even in the winter, it'll be nice and warm. And I always get free heat uh, in the winter because why not? I'm gonna be running mining gear anyway. I also deployed solar this year. So all the mining I do at my home uh, is completely offset by the solar. So uh, I am, you know, essentially mining for free. I need to recoup my solar costs and miner costs and all that stuff. Uh, but that's just kind of what I've been doing and building towards over the years. But of course, for nearly 10 years, I bought, built and received mining rigs and pay the electricity bill. Trust me, I still get plenty of electricity bill over at the Boss Coin Mining Farm. Uh, so I, I really like this thing and I'm impressed with their improvements over the BTC Merch one uh, that I got uh, before. I don't know why you would get that one when this one exists. This one's better, it's more powerful and it seems to be better build quality, which is reinforced by the simple fact that it hashes at a higher hash rate. 
right? Uh, but these are getting so big and so expensive, right? At that price point, I'd rather just buy the Canon Mini 3. My Mini 3s have been good miners. My Avalon Qs have not held up when they got super hot. Actually, both of them broke and that's on my to-do list to deal with it. But always something to do here at Boss Coin. Uh, so for a similar price point, I can just buy a Canon Mini 3 and do like around 30 terahash per second. That's a lot of hash, man. That's like three times this or more. No, it's not open source. But how much do you truly care about that? I'm not here to push you one way or the other on that stuff today. But if you're feeling like a real big time tinkerer, you can put one of these together. Remember, it's open sourced. You can buy all the pieces and build one of these at home. But this ain't like putting together your father's GPU mining rig, son. It's a lot more involved and it's a lot more technical. You're essentially building a circuit board. It's layman's way to say it, right? So I'll leave today's video at that. I'm Boss. You're on the Boss Queen YouTube channel. This is 10 Seconds of Tales. We're in 10 Seconds of Tales on every video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Remember, I'll drop all the resources and stuff I use and talk about down in the video description below from where to buy this, where to get some other gear, how to support the channel, how to calculate your Bitcoin solo mining odds or luck or chance and uh, everything in between. So I appreciate you. Good luck. I'll be honest. I hope I hit the next Bitcoin block. But after that, I hope you hit the next one. So remember, if you ain't mining, you won't be blocking. That's not a cooler in my head. Good night. Good morning. Goodbye.